one can't help but be moved and be excited and be uplifted by the music of Don Quixote. Um, this was Minkus, the composer, um, Minkus's first collaboration with that great choreographer Petipa. Um, and they had this wonderful relationship that lasted many, many ballets, including famous Bayadere. Um, and I can totally imagine that first reception to Minkus's music with his endless variety of melodies, each one of each one more almost more memorable than the previous. And the energy in the tunes, but also the harmony and the rhythm that comes with it is so physically propulsive that one can't help but tap your toes to it. And one can only imagine what it would have been like for the dancers to dance to this in the first place. They would have felt it almost like as a wonderful gift to them, that they can really create not just the excitement, but also a story and a drama that goes through the whole ballet. Um, and it is that that lifts this music to be more than just the melodies, because throughout all of it, yes, you've got great tunes, but there's this underlying sense of compulsive emotion that carries you through the journey and through the story. After all, Don Quixote is simply a story about ordinary characters looking for happiness. And I think this music really does that. It lives us all and finds that happiness for us, but also really sets the location. So throughout all of it, yes, you've got great tune, you've got wonderful rhythm, you've got wonderful energy, but you can't mistake the fact that you're in Spain. You've got this um, sense of, yes, the vivaciousness of the market scene and um, the wonderful melodies of the Romani scenes, but also in the slower music, this languid feeling of a hot summer's day down in the Iberian Peninsula. So in Nureyev's production of Don Quixote, he uses a score that was updated, reorchestrated, and edited by the British conductor and composer John Lansbury. And um, Jack's orchestration um, adds a lot more to the orchestra pit. Um, so he really enhances that Spanish color um, and that flair and that propulsive um, physicality in the music um, by enlarging the orchestra slightly adding some interesting instruments, including a wind machine. Um, and um, he also adds his own numbers to it, makes more edits with the orchestration so that the, 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 the standard instruments, if you like, is asked to do more than just the usual playing. There are some interesting um, instrumental colors that, yes, makes it more powerful, but also enhances the humor in the production. Conducting for ballet, is you're essentially working with bodies that are instruments. And whilst in the pit, like singers, their vocal cords are the instruments that make a sound. For dancers, their bodies are an instruments that make visual art. Um, and with that, there's an inherent flexibility in it because everybody is different and everybody is different. And so as the musicians in the pit, we have a real um, responsibility to be able to react to all of those things. Um, and that also means that every performance is different and every performance has its own excitement to it. When I first worked at the company last year, I was so taken immediately by the positivity Every, everybody takes in the approach to the work, in the approach to their fellow humans, um, and in their approach to life in general. Um, and it is without a doubt that this is one of the greatest companies um, in the world for both ballet and with our partner orchestras in the Musicians in the Pit. But what is unique about um, the Australian Ballet uh, and all its partner musicians is that everybody takes what they do very seriously, but often they don't take themselves very seriously. And so there's this humility, this positivity, and this humanity that is incredibly infusive 
and it draws you into this sense of family and it draws you into this world where yes we want to make the greatest performances that we can but at the same time we are we, we are absolutely a team together and we all understand this common mission, this common goal of what we're striving for. And something like Don Quixote is a really good vehicle for that because you do need that synergy between the music and dance and the stage and everybody behind the scene to work together to achieve the best performance possible. And I really think that there are very few places in the world better to do this production in.